What is up, trainers? Your boy Trainer Bravo here with another review review of the brand new figure, Battle Fact figure, Battle Ready figure, whatever. Yes, I've been waiting for this figure for so long. Yeah, I've been away. I've been lazy and other things. But anyway, let's take a look at the figure. You see Ghastly in the front. You see Battle Ready, Battle Figure Pack Ghastly. You see the Pokeball. You see Pikachu, Pokemon. Now, this is a new packaging, so it's red and white instead of, um, Jesus, what was that color? Blue? I don't remember. Anyway, you see the back of the figure. You see the figures that we have reviewed in these two. I'm just looking for these three. Anyway, let's get this out. And as you can see, there's a little plaque in the packaging. Let's look at the pants. Oh my gosh. Been away for a while, but I'm back now with another review. Now you see the pamphlet, it's the same as like the, the back of the Rillaboom I'm reviewed. See Rillaboom right here, you see Ash and Inteleon, see Abra, Ghastly, and Pikachu, these are all the new ones in the set. But yeah, we gotta get some of these in. Gotta get this out, it comes with a stand. Oh, I mean, it's full in a review. Well anyway, here's a look at Ghastly. This figure looks awesome. And I can already tell right now that the head is articulated so it's like in and out of a bowl if you do not focus on the toy. So you see Gasly's head goes in and out. Why are you not focusing? There you go. Head going in and out, moves around. You see the teeth and stuff are painted in. The eyes are big and white. You see the little translucent glow effect. Oh wait, what is this? Oh no. Is that supposed to happen? That's supposed to happen? Or are you supposed to move it like that? I don't know. But you see a hole in the back. I didn't know he had a ghost hole. Hey, if you get that season five label right here, you see the stand. Is the stand removable? No, the stand is not removable. But anyway, articulation, the head is balled around. Now let's get some size comparisons. Now, now I do not have any other gas in figures. I do have the old, 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 we have Hunter. These are all trios, so it goes like this. This looks good together. I've always wanted to complete this set. Gengar is my favorite ghost type Pokemon. So now we have the trio, the, the evolution trio. Not the evolution trio, the evolution of Ghastly into Gengar and Hunter. Anyway, out of these three figures, I would have to say I still like Gengar the best, but this, these go together, so they're gonna work. More size comparison, don't you fall back. More size comparisons. Now for the, now for the other battle feature figures in this set, you do have Flareon and Side Up, which we have reviewed way long ago. But these all look good together, all Cantomans, all Cantonians, and you know they're gonna work together in pictures. Now we have one more size comparison, but it's gonna be a bit, it's gonna be a doozy. Now last size comparison would be the Ash, Ash catching figure, and the Jabra, I think, Ditto, and these look good together. Ash is supposed to be like this height or Gasly should be there. I don't know but anyway if, oh. Gasly don't you ever do that again that was rude but let's get the height for these guys anyway Gasly from the stand up is like about three and a half maybe four inches a little three and a quarter inches and Gasly himself is about three, three, maybe two and a half inches. And the stand, nobody cares about the stand. That will put him against, make him just about the right size in terms with Gengar and Gasly. But Gengar should always be a little bit bigger. Hunter should be bigger than Gengar. So this is a little bit of, um, but it's awesome. We have three of them. So now these go on the shelf. But anyway, guys, if you love this review, leave a comment, subscribe for more. Don't get scared. Catch you guys later. Keep training.